rights activists in Marion County are complaining about poor conditions and outdated killing methods at the county's pound. And animal control officers there agree the situation is unpleasant. But as TV20's Barbara Johnson reports, a lack of money is preventing them from doing something about it. Piercing eyes like these tell Marion County's animal control officers that this cat is wild and dangerous. Thousands of wild cats, animals with rabies, and just abandoned pets are picked up every year, and 8,000 are put to sleep. Except for unwanted pets, most die in an old pressure chamber that's been converted to gas. Animal rights activists are appalled. The situation at the pound is very, very sad, and nothing's being done about it. Um, the way the animals are killed is just horrendous. Uh, we're only one in three counties that still use the gas chamber in the state of Florida, and we feel that it's um, archaic. County commissioners agree something needs to be done, but since it would cost thousands of dollars in safety equipment and personnel to convert entirely to lethal injections, they want to study the issue first. We'll be more selective on what we consider a wild or a rabid. We'll cut that number down to a minimal until we can get the veterinarians together in a meeting and we can decide uh, how we're going to handle this problem. Animal control officers dislike euthanizing animals, but they say they'll use whichever method the county chooses. For myself, it's less personal to be able to give them the gas, okay, than to hold an animal you've kept two or three weeks, all right, and be the one to uh, inject it. Animal control officials agree this facility is not very pleasant. They say it was built 30 years ago by a prison road gang as a temporary facility. Plans are in the works for a new pound, but they've been stalled over site selection and money. Animal rights activists hope their complaint will spur the project along. In Marion County, Barbara Johnson, TV20 News.